Today, we're going to demonstrate how to change a COBOL application with confidence using Broadcom's unit testing solution, Test4Z. Part of the mainframe DevOps suite, Test4Z works with many IDEs, including ISPF. In this case, we'll use Visual Studio Code. The unit test for mainframe extension makes the use of Test4Z seamless. The more comprehensive Code4Z extension pack, which is already installed here, transforms VS Code into a powerful developer cockpit. Unlike many mainframe applications without true unit tests, our application has a safety net of existing unit tests. The tests are stored alongside the application code as they are really extensions of the application. All of the test for z test cases are displayed in Visual Studio Code's native Test Explorer view and can be run with the click of a button. You can see all the test files and under each test file, you can explore individual tests that are part of the whole test suite. All the test cases are passing now quickly validating the application's expected behavior and giving the developer full confidence in the code change as it's being modified in the development environment. Let's explore the code base. Test4Z enables true unit testing at the COBOL paragraph level. This module has multiple paragraphs and, using the green and red vertical gutters, you can see what code is covered by the test suite and where we have an opportunity to improve our code coverage. Code coverage ratios are shown in the bottom status bar. Let's introduce a code change into a different module. This program reads records from an input file and writes those prefix with hello into an output file. I'm going to change hello prefix to hi there. Test4Z offers a seamless user experience using Visual Studio Code. However, if you prefer a different IDE, like an Eclipse-based tool, Test4Z offers a command line interface that can be executed from any terminal. Now, let's run all the tests using the Test4Z command and request code coverage as well. Along with the source code, the test cases are now being synchronized to the mainframe where they will be built and run. The synchronization to the mainframe happens only for the change sources and only the change modules will be rebuilt. This saves time and bandwidth when running your quick development validation loop. We can see the requested code coverage metric, and most importantly, we can now see that one of the test cases has failed. It's failing because it is expecting, hello, where in fact I changed the application to add, hi there. Let's assume our code change is correct and explore the Test4Z unit test case. The unit test case is a COBOL program that uses the Test4Z test API to create file mocks for the input and output files. It also defines a set of data for assertions to ensure the produced output is correct. Here is the test being registered. And here the test logic starts. Let's modify the expected data according to the application change. and now rerun one test case only. The test case passed successfully, and I'm ready to promote my change with confidence. The test case is our code, and as such will be stored alongside the application code. It really doesn't matter what source code management tool you use. For example, you can use a mainframe-based SCM like Endeavor, and make the change using the Explorer for Endeavor VS Code extension. In my case, I'm using Git, and the Git source is being synchronized automatically with Endeavor using Bridge for Git. Let's review the changes. Here is the application change from Hello to Hi There, and here is the corresponding change to the test case. Let's commit and push the changes into a shared Git repository. Upon pushing the newly introduced change to the shared repository, an automated pipeline is triggered. The pipeline is executing now. 
It runs the unit test automatically thanks to the test for z command line. Once finished, I can browse the test results directly in the CI CD pipeline. In addition, test for z generates a code coverage dashboard that can be easily integrated into the pipeline reporting. I can drill down into the program level code coverage, and here I can even validate that the newly introduced changes in here. All looks good. My change has been integrated and thanks to Test4Z, I'm ready to start another code change with confidence.